I know guys, I find it hard to believe too, but Benny Hinn actually just taught against greed. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to check this one out. Hello, friends. My name is Matt. Welcome to my channel. If you could please take a second to subscribe, it does help to promote Christian content on YouTube. So as I said, in this most recent or one of the most recent messages that Benny Hinn did entitled The Biblical Road to Blessing, he actually speaks against greed in the life of a believer. So what I want to do is look at a few short clips from this message to see what he has to say about greed and to see maybe if Benny Hinn is changing his ways. The Bible has a lot to say about things to do with finances and when people go about it wrong. For, for example, in, in Proverbs chapter 1 and verse 19, we also read this. So are the ways of everyone that is greedy of gain which taketh away the life of the owners thereof. Can you imagine that greed takes away the life of people? So the Bible makes it very clear. So are the ways of everyone that is greedy of gain, which taketh away the life of the owners thereof. I don't want to mention the things I'm hearing today. But there's a lot of things happening that are, you know, helping people make money, quick money. You know, other things have happened in the past, like that. I, I remember people coming to uh, OCC when I was pastor in Orlando who wanted to sell something to someone, build some pyramid, whatever they were called. And I had to stop it publicly to say, you know what, you can't do that. There is the right way and the wrong way. Making quick money is the wrong way. But God shows us how to do it the right way. And I want God to bless you in these last days so you don't lose your money. You don't lose your blessings. All right, guys. So this is encouraging to hear Benny Hinn actually speaking against greed. And that is what the Bible says. In fact, in Colossians chapter 3, verse 5, we are told that greed is idolatry. So pretty clearly something that we are not supposed to have as believers. And so I'm really thankful that he was teaching that. He then went on to say that he doesn't want any of his listeners, the people listening to his message, to get caught up in trying to gain and accrue money the wrong way. He says that he wants to make sure that they are going to be going about it the right way. But that begs the question, what exactly does that entail? So Right now, you may be going through your worst famine. There is a way out of crisis, and it's not by rich getting rich quickly. It's by sowing seed faithfully into the Lord's work, and you will come out of crisis. He that goeth forth sowing precious seed Psalm 126, 5 and 6 says, will doubtless come again rejoicing, bringing his harvest with him. And I can tell you, if you want to be secure tomorrow, there's only one way to do it. And I just told you how. The hand of the diligent makes rich. Be diligent with your giving. Be diligent with your sowing. God will bless you not only with money, but with ideas to make money, and he'll protect your investments when there's a foundation under your life that you're standing in a good place, solid place, believing God's word. Okay, it's time to give. It's time to give to the Lord's work. Uh-huh. So the way that we avoid greed and gain money the right way is by giving money to Benny Hinn. Hmm. Well, if that's the case, then surely Benny Hinn must be the epitome of a man who is without greed in his life. Surely, he said that we must give to the Lord's work. So this must be a true man of God who is free from greed and uses his finances to bless other people and to do things that are going to be of benefit to the kingdom of God. Well, is that the case? Guys, I'd like to play a short clip 
for you from an interview that was done with Benny Hinn's nephew, Costi Hinn. Costi Hinn worked for his uncle, Uncle Benny, for a number of years growing up, but Costi Hinn eventually left his uncle's ministry and is now a faithful Bible teacher. And I would like for you to hear what Costi Hinn has to say about his uncle's ministry and the way that they use their ministry finances. Costi, would you send money into your uncle's ministry? I wouldn't. And that's because uh, working with him and really growing up in the inner circle of the faith healing and prosperity gospel and word of faith movement and add all the others, charismatic, third wave, all of that, uh, I saw where the money went. I knew why we would begin to fundraise harder at certain times throughout the year based on spending and whatnot. And uh, it's a lifestyle that is built for us on the backs of the sick and the poor, and donations are key to maintaining that lifestyle. And so uh, I, I know there's well-intentioned people that give money to faith healers and little old ladies that are really being deceived. And so they mean well, and I think God is merciful and saves many people out of the movement. We know that happens all the time. But uh, no matter the intentions of people who give, that money is going towards maintaining the lifestyle of that man or woman. All right. So reason number one, you would not give money to your uncle. And I, I, I pondered that statement. I had to imagine if my uncle were in ministry and he, he appeared on television and said, send in money, or he even asked me directly, would you give money to the ministry? To say no to a family member is a very profound statement. So number one, you would say the money is not stewarded well. Would you please give us an example of how the money that many people give, poor people, people who are hoping for a miracle, who are promised things. Where's some of that money going, Costi? Uh, well, when I say to maintain a man or woman's lifestyle, uh, I want to be clear, and you and I both know that, biblically speaking, in the church, we support the local church, and pastors all have a lifestyle, so that's great. Uh, that men and their families can live and serve the church full time, and that's great. But when I say lifestyle, I mean excessive lifestyle. Uh, homes and properties upwards of ten million dollars, and I'm being conservative so that I'm my integrity is intact and we don't exaggerate. But the number gets a lot higher when you add in multiple properties. Uh, our hotel, when I traveled, one of my favorite places, and I've mentioned this before, was the Burj Al Arab the massive hotel in Dubai, in the United Arab Emirates, that's shaped like a sail. It's on a man-made island. You get picked up in three luxury cars. And we stayed in the Royal Suite. I remember sleeping in my own room within the Royal Suite. There were multiple rooms. Uh, the square footage is beyond what uh, most people will ever own if they had two homes put together. And it was $25,000 per night to stay in the Royal Suite. And the hotel has actual gold all throughout it, literally thousands and thousands of tons of gold. You can look this up. It's legit. And then we had an entourage with us, and so there were other suites that we had for uh, what was a layover on our way to go and serve in India, in Mumbai, for that crusade in 2004 that had over a million people in attendance. And that would give you an idea of how we're living, or how I was, and still and my family members do, off of donations, and the travel was not on uh, Emirates or Cathay Pacific or United Airlines. The travel was on a Gulfstream 4 that we leased from Morris Cirillo in Florida. At that time, we were leasing it. And so uh, you're, it's birds of a feather flock together, and there is one thing that you enjoy above it all. It's not the gospel. It's not the glory of Christ. It's not the joy of doing real ministry. It's a lifestyle that gives you anything you want. Oh, the irony is thick with this one. Benny Hinn telling us not to be greedy. Yet Benny Hinn encouraging, imploring people if they want that blessing, they need to give money to him. And how is he going to use that money? Listen, guys, I am sure that some of that money did go to ministry work. Uh, this is something that is very common. You have to spend money to make money. Uh, if Benny Hinn is going to get people to donate to his ministry, he can't do nothing. He has to do something that looks like ministry work. But very clearly, he is using those finances for personal 
gain, to get wealthy, to get rich, so that he can get more for himself. This is greed. So regardless of what Benny Hinn says about not being greedy, which that part of the message is true, he clearly demonstrates that he is not living that out in his own life. This is something that we have seen time and time again from Benny Hinn. He preaches messages. Usually he's twisting God's word. In fact, if I would have put the, uh, and I'll put a link to the entire video below. You'll see that he does later in this message twist scripture. Normally he's doing that. He's scaring people. He's giving them false hope, promises that the Bible does not have, telling people that if you just give money to me, God is going to bless you. God's going to bring the breakthrough. God is going to bring the miracle. This is not in scripture, guys. So regardless of whether what he is saying is true, which in that one instance of, hey, stay away from greed, that is true. We cannot trust this man because he clearly is out for selfish gain. I bring this up, guys. Benny Hinn's ministry has been in the decline over the years, but it is still thriving. There are still hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people who follow his ministry desperate people who send him money and he turns around and uses that money for himself. Please stop following this man. Please do not listen to his teaching and please, please, please do not send him money. If you're going to give your money to somebody, guys, give it to a faithful ministry that is going to rightly proclaim God's word. But I'll tell you what, if you're in a really, really bad situation, Please don't try to buy God's gift by saying, if I sow a seed somewhere, maybe God will give me a miracle. Pray and ask God. Tell him what you need and ask him. He is able to do it. If it's in his will, he will. Ask him. Do not try to buy the gift of God with your money. All right, guys, that's all I have for today. Let's stay away from Benny Hinn. Let's equip ourselves with the word of God so that we ourselves can not only rightly handle truth, but can live it out in our day-to-day -day life by the help of the Spirit. All right, guys, if this video has been helpful to you, I ask that you please subscribe to the channel. As I mentioned before, it does help us to promote Christian content on YouTube. Thanks again for watching, and until next time, God bless.